Good morning everybody. Today is day number five of Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm currently getting ready for work. Um, let me show you kind of what my morning looks like before I leave for work. So I just finished filming my little YouTube, or not YouTube, I'm so tired this morning. I finished filming my Instagram um, photo here. So this is what it looks like behind the scenes. <laughs> just my bed and some stuffs and when you zoom in it looks a lot nicer and prettier. Oh the magic of photos. And here's little Bean. Say hi, good morning. Oh look at you. Oh look at the baby. So I'm gonna finish getting ready. Um, I'm hoping that today is gonna be a much more productive day because I get off work a lot earlier. And I got the amazing news that rain is coming. Yay! I absolutely love it when it's raining outside. Definitely helps me write more and feel more creative. So yes, excellent news. Also, let me show you this. You can see it. Do you see my shirt? It says Aberdeen right, right there. So as I've mentioned before, I'm obsessed with Scotland. As you can see right here. This is my Scottish flag. Over there it says, wherever you go, go with all your heart. And there's a little heart on there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Um, that little heart right there actually is around Scotland. <laughs> so I'm obsessed with Scotland, as you can see. Um, oops, sorry. Aberdeen happens to be a place in Scotland and a place that I would like to move one day. Um, the company that I work for has a location in Aberdeen, uh, Scotland. So hopefully with good transfer options. So one day maybe I'll end up in Aberdeen. Aberdeen also is located in the state of Washington which is another like one of my dream places to go so I just feel like I'm called Aberdeen something but preferably Scotland. So a little, a little side note there but I'm gonna go to work. I will see you when I'm done with work and then we will talk camp NaNoWriMo. Hope you're having a great morning guys. So to add to the randomness that is my life um, I have some currency, let's see here, where is it, from Australia. So I've got a $10 bill here and a $5 bill, which I still to this day think are absolutely gorgeous. I love that they do the plastic money and that it's, um, that it's all colored so pretty. This is my favorite one because it's like pink and purple um, and they're always like see-through. See-through. Um, and then I put this little ten dollar bill. Hello, everybody. So it is nine ten. Um, and let me check here. My word count for the day is three thousand two hundred and forty words. Yay! <laughs> so I've gone up a little bit. Um, I think I wrote something like seven hundred words so far, something of that nature. Um, I'm still working on it. I kind of just took a mental break from writing so that I could just kind of make sure I was in the right flow and make sure that my brain was processing things right because it's been kind of a stressful day, um, just a lot of stuff going on outside of the writing world, so I just kind of needed a break for a minute. Um, my plan right now, now that my break's kind of over, is to um, go ahead and take a shower, kind of finish unwinding, I'm going to write a bit more and then probably um, read and then eventually go to sleep. Um, but it's super cool because I have spent my time kind of unwinding my brain studying Scottish Gaelic. So I think I've mentioned it a couple of times before, but I am legitly trying to learn Scottish Gaelic. And it's an extremely difficult language. Um, over the years I've learned French, um, which I can still read a little bit and I can still understand a bit. Not super well because I don't use it every day, but I do still know a little. Um, there are a few times at work people come in with like, they speak French or they have their computers on French and we have to kind of navigate around them. So it's pretty cool. Um, so I do know that, but French and Spanish and all those languages tend to be very like connected. They've all got the Latin elements to them and they're not super crazy, but Scottish Gaelic is a bit qu a bit, a bit weird. Um, like right now I'll show you this website here in case you want to learn. Um, it's a place called Mango and um, 
it teaches you Scottish Gaelic. And so like over here we're doing mango conversations um, and it's pretty dang cool. I don't know if it'll if it'll do it here. Um, wait in progress. But it'll load up here. And allegedly my Wi Fi is pretty slow. I do apologize for that. But I like to and then you can learn like all these cool things. So I've been waiting on this one here. It's greetings, gratitude, and goodbye. And then there's like a million other chapters. So yeah, I've been learning that. I just learned um, how to say like hello, how are you? Which was um, like Sima Hashiv. <laughs> which oh that's how are you? Um Lotma No Lotma. Oh, see, I've already forgotten. I'm gonna have to go back. Um, means like hello. It's like, um, lava simahashi, which is like, hello, how are you? Um, it's so weird because, like, I wrote some of it down here. I'll show you. So, like, this right here is hello, but it does not sound anything like that. Um, this one I'm doing badly, which is pretty much me tonight with, um, <laughs> Camp Nanorimo is Hamigudona. Um Hami Ha Me Gudona. Um which is crazy. Um, this one up here means good night. Um and this is the pronunciation of it, which I'm still struggling with, but it's like you um Uhiva Uhiva, something like that. Um so yeah that's just gonna take forever to learn. But I'm super excited. I do love learning it. Um, I do know the word for thank you, which is to believe. Um, and I know Sima Hashiv, which is how are you. Um, ha is yes. Uh, Hani means no. Um, ha also is like I am and are, I think. So it's kind of weird how their words are all pretty much the same. Anyways, that has been my night, <laughs> um, but I am going to go sign off on this vlog today. Sorry if it's kind of boring, like I said, it's just been a crazy day um, outside of the writing world and everything and it's just a lot going on that I kind of just need my mind to detach from and I just needed some, some breaks. So definitely going to uh, get back to writing after I take my shower. See if I can get a bit more, so I will update you in the morning if my word count has changed. And then I'm going to just dive into my book. I'm reading Voyager still. Um, super excited. I don't want to give any spoilers away because I know some of you are still completing a Dragonfly, or Dragonfly and Amber. And I don't want to spoil this book for you, but I'm uh, roughly 230 pages, I think, into Voyager out of like the 900 pages. But so far it's super good. Um, it just... I gotta know what happens next so I think that's gonna be my night but I hope that your writing is going well I hope that it's just a fun adventure and you're not struggling as much as I am um, and I don't know why I'm struggling maybe it's because I'm just kind of editing and editing is a little bit different than just writing um, I'm not really sure but I am liking what I've got so far I think the story overall is, is coming together better I think the writing is a bit better than it was when I reread like the first draft I'm like ooh needs a little work. Um, one of my greatest fears is like I don't want to put out something that I'm like hey I thought this was pretty good and everyone's like that is pretty terrible. Um, so I'm always like trying to perfect the writing, I'm trying to make it sound a little bit more eloquent, a little bit more you know advanced, a little more challenging. Um, you know I just want it to sound real but I, and I want it to be my voice but I also want to make sure that when people read it they're like wow she's a decent writer. Um, you know, because I read so many books and I'm just like, man, these people are amazing at how they write and I want to be just like a tiny fraction of how amazing they write. So I tend to, especially when I'm in the editing process, I tend to be really, really critical and I think that sets me back and I think it kind of derails me a lot because I'm just reading this stuff and I'm like, this story could be so much better. What am I not doing to make it better? Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a frustration. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm definitely going to be looking for some like early readers because I'd love your opinions. I'd love your insight. So if that's something you're interested in, um, being an early reader for my second book in the Exist series, 
um, please leave a comment down below because I would love to get your information and start sending you stuff soon-ish because um, we're almost there, I'm almost done with the book so that would be pretty exciting um, but yeah, I am gonna head off guys please give this video a thumbs up if you are still liking these vlogs I know this one was not that exciting and I do apologize for it um, tomorrow's a new day guys, tomorrow's a new day hopefully I will learn some more Gaelic and I can greet you in Gaelic tomorrow wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I can say good morning. Um, that would be really cool. So you'll go on the journey now of camping in Arimo and we're going to learn Gaelic together. So, um, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos because I am going to continue posting videos even if they're super boring and monotonous all a month long. Um, I've also got a few other videos I want to shoot once I've got a little bit more time um, that are not camping in Arimo themed but are actually back into the bookish world. So keep a lookout for those, but I hope you guys are doing well. Until next time, happy reading and happy writing, book lovelies. Bye.